before we install the shock therapy toe link support kit, we're gonna show the people a little science, okay? So your arms are two different lengths, and I'm gonna show you that right now. Stick your arms up, forward. Okay, so first we'll measure his right arm, and it's about 27 and a half inches. Okay, so then we'll measure this one. <laughs> 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 That's how every woman should do laundry. That's what I'm talking about. You suck. Yo, what's going on guys? So we're back at it again. It's right before Christmas. We're going out for New Year's. And uh unfortunately oh, I better stop doing that like I'm twisting. Getting yeah, everybody dizzy. Um unfortunately we had to switch up the rear suspension of the Can Am X3 a little bit. It's out there right now. Um, yeah, so I installed some ZRP radius rods. If we could even see them. Let's see. And before that, we installed the Assault Industries um, dual bracket or dual shear bracket kit on that thing. But I went ZRP radius rods since then, and it doesn't fit with those brackets. So we had to switch it up a little bit. And uh, for Thanksgiving, Shock Therapy was out there, and they had the Toe Link support kit to fit the ZRPs. So, without further ado guys, I'm gonna show you how to install those right now. So for tools that you're gonna need to complete this job, you're gonna need a 32 millimeter socket to remove the axle nut, an 18 millimeter socket to remove the toe link bolt itself, a 19 millimeter wrench, and a 15 millimeter wrench to remove the caliper. Along with that, you're gonna need a good impact driver to use with the unit bit that they supplied you with, a good impact gun with a 19 millimeter socket to remove the wheels and tires. Now let's get started. Buckle up guys, as I try to sound as serious as possible while doing this voiceover. Jack up the vehicle, then remove the wheels and tires. Remove the axle nut. Remove the brake caliper. Set the brake caliper on the trailing arm. Use a dead blow to remove the spindle. Use the 18 millimeter socket and start removing the hub. Make sure to keep it as level as possible when you're tightening the vise. I like to place a rag through the center of the hub through the bearing as to keep metal shavings from getting inside of the bearing. Use the supplied unibit and make sure that it is as level as possible with the hub and start drilling. Check this several times while you are drilling to make sure it is straight. When selecting a location to drill, make sure it is not where your wife does laundry, because drilling this hub out throws more confetti than a sequel to mile parade, and you will hear about it for weeks to come. Once the hole is drilled, test fit the toe link support kit to make sure it is not too tight and not too loose. Fitment is proper, install the supplied red lock type. Now it's time to reinstall the hub back onto the vehicle. The OEM 18 millimeter bolts get torqued to 95 foot pounds, and the new Shock Therapy Toe Link support kit gets torqued to 110 foot pounds. If you have not greased your bearings yet, now is a great time to do so. This will require a special tool though. Reinstall your spindle, make sure it is clean, and reinstall your caliper.
Once everything is tight and torqued, repeat these steps on the other side. Ooh, she's sexy. Well, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I appreciate you hanging in there with me. Overall, this was a very simple and straightforward installation. Should take you about 30 minutes for both sides, depending on skill and comfort level. Definitely reference this video to help you become more familiar with what you're gonna be doing. A shout out to Shock Therapy for being at Glamis on Thanksgiving Day and offering me a solution to my ZRP radius rods and me wanting to have that extra comfort and support in the rear toe link. Well, that's it, guys. I'll see you at Glamis on New Year's. Make sure to keep it shiny side up, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. We better back up. We don't have enough roads to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads.